Hello and welcome to Cup of Time. Today I'm thrilled that you can join me and I'm also really chuffed because we've got Jen with us. Hi Jen. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. It's been uh, and you. And you. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. I can't think how long it is. It's been a while. So well, let's not think about that, Fiona. <laughs> Time flies, especially when you're having fun. Anyway, <laughs> first of all, Nature of Cup of Time, if you could please share with me your favourite cup and explain why it is your favourite cup. Well, uh, I've just washed up my favourite cup, actually, so I've got my second favourite cup. So, oh, okay. like many people, my favourite cup, plus my favourite cup, is enormous, and when I drink, like, my whole face disappears. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and that's because my auntie gave it to me right. um, and she's no longer with us. So, and it's just a huge cup. So it's, I generally have it for weekends, but today's cup is my, it, that's 40, that my cousin gave me funnily enough for my 40th birthday. So it's just got a nice bit of family connection. Yeah. It's nice because when you, when you drink from a cup that someone's given you, it's having those memories of them. Yeah. The time, times that you spent with them. I think, uh, yeah, it's a nice way. Yeah, it is actually. It is. Um and there's yeah, and I do think of her every time I drink from it. Good. Right. So you're a lady with lots of talents. What is it that you do in your life that helps keep you being uplifted and the lovely lady that you are? Well, coffee. Um <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. coffee, wine. <laughs> yeah, coffee, wine, biscuits, cheese. Yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> So that's all my vices out the way, right? Um, I'd say, so I'm, you know, because I am an intuitive coach and I'm all about personal development and well-being, yeah. um, you know, actually this kind of situation of being in lockdown, I've been quite well prepared for and already got, you know, a very um, kind of set practice, I suppose. So, and thank goodness that we've been allowed out for our one hour daily exercise because that's my thing is being outside in nature and I'm so lucky where I live I'm so grateful that I'm right near the forest and I'm right near the woods so um yeah so I go outside and I've been doing this for years just go out for a, a, an hour's walk um and that's my exercise yeah. but it's about connecting with nature and allowing my mind to clear and slow yes down yeah. so that I can really acknowledge what kind of feelings and emotions are going on and I find by exercising and moving that I'm able to process those emotions mm -hmm. rather than you know pushing them down or ignoring them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the and then the second thing that I do is sit in meditation every day um, and it's something that is probably like a lot of people something that I'm a bit on off with so I try and do it every day and <laughs> some days are harder than others and some days it's really easy some days I can sit there for an hour quite happily and then be quite surprised that it's been an hour and other times I'm like you know like a six-year-old having a bit of a tam temper tantrum because they can't do something <laughs> and after 10 minutes I'm like oh god's sake <laughs> So if you get to that stage, if you can't get into that mindset at that time, do you leave it and then come back to it or do you continue at that time? Yeah, generally I'll just get up and have a drink of water or, you know, just change the music or do something to interrupt the, the thought process mm -hmm. and then just breathe and sit back into it. But I'll always persevere with it. Mm -hmm. So in terms of, in ter sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt it. It's a bit of the timeline. So in terms of, um, you're walking out in the woods or doing the meditation. Is there a preference to do either of those in the morning or in the afternoon or, is it, or evening? Um, yeah, I recommend in the morning because it's before your brain's had a chance to fill up with the, you know, stuff from the day. So mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you've got, a, certainly from a meditative point of view, you've got a fighting chance <laughs> if you do it first thing in the morning. <laughs> And in terms of going into the woods, is that a morning thing as well or is that later on? Uh, whatever works for you, I'd say. For me, yeah. it's just in the morning. I know if I don't do it in the morning, I'll get... It's not that I won't do it. I'll just get caught up in other things and then I'll be hungry and then it'll be dark. Yeah. 
yeah. you know and the day's just gone so yeah. if I just do it as soon as I get up then yeah. you know it's that that's just kind of the routine that, that works for me uh-huh. so at the moment the situation that we're in is there any of the things that you were doing normally before or I wouldn't say normally nothing what's normal um it, as your usual pattern is there anything that you changed or adapted that's been a bit different or or working in a different way for you yeah I mean I, look I've been one of the fortunate ones I think um I'd started to move my business online last year anyway mm-hmm. largely so from a from a business perspective it's not been too huge a transition for me mm-hmm. um so I've been very fortunate in that sense I think what I've really noticed um, for the better and that's been way more positive and I've really enjoyed um, is the amount of video calls that I'm having with my friends and family right so for example particularly my mum yeah you know she is in that vulnerable group um, and she's way up north so it's not like I can see her anytime um, and uh, yeah, so we've been zooming her and I on a like on a Sunday afternoon, and it's just so nice to see her rather than just you know talking on the phone. Mm. Um, and it's I think it's like our way of checking up on each other, you know, <laughs> so we can, can actually see that we're all okay. Yeah. Um, and just you know, friends that I've got a, a really close friend who lives literally just half a mile up the road, but obviously we can't see each other. So we've been doing Saturday night FaceTimes with wine. Great. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, so just been combining two of my favorite things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so actually it's been a positive for me. Yeah. Um, that I'm spending more kind of face to face time mm. with people mm. and making more of an effort than than just phone calls, which we were doing before. Yeah. Well, I think the other thing is um, that a neighbour and I obviously across the street were talking to each other, not beside yeah. each other. We were saying how um, difference being the time that you would spend getting to places. You don't realise how much time that is, but it's, it's using that time in a more useful way yeah. than you, as you would have been sitting in a car. Yeah, 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 so true, so true. Yeah, yeah I think um, speaking with my neighbour across the way, <clears throat> she said one of the first things she really appreciated was not driving, you know, for an hour each yeah. way every day to yeah. work. And mm-hmm. she just said how much more energy she had yeah. by not sitting in traffic. Mm. You know, and how much, you know, that's two, two and a half hours of her day back every day. That's a massive chunk of time, mm. isn't it? Mm. Yeah. yeah. So I think, I don't know, Fiona, maybe we'll see some huge positives out of this. Well, who's to say not? To so say. talking about positives, I was wondering if there was anything that you've done in your past, whether it's recent or distant, that people might not know about you or is something that you've done that just might surprise people. <laughs> yeah yeah no, nothing to share in public no uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would say so this I I forget about this because I've done it um but it was a massive achievement and actually it was the turning point of me completely changing my life mm. and I wouldn't be sitting here now having this conversation with you if I hadn't have done this um and to uh to some people it might feel like nothing but for me it was it changed my life and it was when I quit smoking oh right yeah in seemingly such a small thing well not a small thing it's a huge thing for anyone that's ever smoked it's a huge thing um but yeah it was the I could never have imagined the amazing positive ripple effect of doing that Mm -hmm. Um, because it led to, you know, it was just one, one action, one, one step that I took just changed my whole course and direction and path in life. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, that was six years ago now mm-hmm. because I quit smoking. Then it was I um, 
wanted to go on holiday it was just my two weeks on a holiday like what am I going to do and I knew if I did the my what I'd been doing previously just going on a beach holiday with my friends and you know I knew exactly what was happening <laughs> so for the first time ever I went on a on a like a health retreat all right yeah uh, and I experienced uh, fasting I experienced exercise I met some amazing people it was my very first experience of yoga yeah um and my very first experience of meditation as mm -hmm. well and that was it I fell in love with you know just a completely different way of being and living and experiencing life mm -hmm. and a year later I left um corporate life behind me and retrained as a coach and here I am <laughs> and what do you think might really have been me. oh sorry no go on I'm wondering what do you think might have been if you had have taken the normal holiday that year <laughs> where would you be now where would I be now uh, I would be still smoking really stressed every possibility my health would be not in a good place um I think I would be a lot heavier as well because I lost two stone in weight when I quit smoking mm -hmm. um so yeah I don't think I'd be in anywhere near as good a place as I am now mm -hmm. nowhere near mm -hmm. and I think with that experience as well that gives you uh, more experience and knowledge yourself in order to help the people that you're helping doesn't it yeah yeah absolutely mm -hmm. yeah uh, and being able to in those moments when you know that toxic inner chatter or the negative chatter that we all have when it rises up as it does mm -hmm. um then just being knowing that you can shift the perspective mm -hmm. and change it mm -hmm. is just and actually how easy it is to do that as well mm -hmm. is yeah incredibly freeing mm. it's um and it's also taking those opportunities where you might have been wavering for a while and not sure whether it was the right way to go. Mm. And then taking it, the um, outcome seems much better than you might have imagined to start off yeah. with. Anyway, taking yeah. those chances. Yeah, that's so true. So yeah. true. Yeah. So the rest of today, what have you got on for the rest of today? The rest of today, um, well, I've got one potato. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the start of a song I've got, I've got one potato sitting on a wall sitting in my fridge so I do need to go out on a foray for some food so right. that's on the agenda today um and I'm also uh I've got oh I've got a, a group um called a healing hearts club where I it's a spiritual group for beginners a spiritual development group for beginners so every week I go in there and do like a little piece of guidance for the week for the group so I've got that to do as well mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to launch my next five day challenge this week as well so I'll just plan and schedule some of that stuff out this afternoon as well excellent all, all the plans all start yeah. happening <laughs> yeah productive day again and suddenly it'll be Friday. <laughs> yeah, How about you? Not, what are you up to? Uh, another video later and basically looking at the weather depending on whether I'm going to dig a flower bed. Uh, yeah well if you're going to do it do it today. Yeah well I'm growing tomatoes as well. I've got some tomatoes so yeah. I've got rhubarb to pick so this is en ending up being a gardening program isn't it? I've got, yeah, rhubarb, nice. I've got rhubarb to pick. <laughs> tomatoes <laughs> are cut out. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Well, that's a bit pretty. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Thank you ever so much for your time. And if um, people might be interested in the healing group that you've got or finding out about that, did you want to put any ideas below so people can get in touch with you? Yeah, so um, you can either find me on Facebook as Revitalised Coaching or my group is called Healing Hearts Club um yeah or i'm on instagram as uh at revitalized coaching so you okay can find all right well, we'll pop it, we'll pop it underneath anyway in case people right, can't write, it, write that quickly <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'll put some I'll, when you post it up i'll put some links in and people can just uh check them out from all right, there brilliant. thank you ever so much for your time and I'll oh it's lovely again. to see you yeah and you and i'll catch you again soon all right take care bye bye